In this video, I'd like to talk about backlinks. Specifically, I want to share my process on how to get backlinks, the process that uh, has helped me generate 40-something backlinks in the last three or four weeks, and to also score a 20%, 25% reply rate and 75% open rate on my link building email templates. My name is Vuk, and I'm the head of growth here at Lemlist. Lemlist is a tool that helps you do cold email outreach campaigns, personalize your messages at scale, and automate your sales process. One of my key goals as the head of growth at Lemlist for this quarter is to boost our SEO rankings, and a big part of that uh, game is uh, generating backlinks. This video will uh, walk you through the process I use to find um, link building opportunities, so using Google, tools like Ahrefs, and also uh, communities on Facebook and Slack and a lot of personal connections to get meaningful uh, backlinks. We'll also talk about seven different email templates that you can use for your link building. Right now we're gonna go and talk about this process. See ya. Let's crack on. How to get backlinks plus seven SEO outreach templates that Lemlist team um, uh, have, has been using um, to do some magic for us. So first of all, I'm not gonna talk about the basics and the essentials of backlinks, but real quick, uh, so, for all of you who are just starting out, a backlink is a sort of a vote uh, uh, from another website for your website that's basically saying like, yo, Google, check this out, this page is really dope, I think you should uh, take a look. And the more backlinks you have, the more positive, positive signals, the more votes will other websites pass to your website and you'll be able to rank higher. Does this mean that you should go out and... Uh, get uh, 500 backlinks from a non-related uh, site and get a non-meaningful backlink, let's say. Of course not, that Google is not stupid. They will figure it out. So getting backlinks is essentially a long process uh, where you should focus on uh, getting as many backlinks as you can, uh, but uh, getting those that are actually connected to your business in a way, connected to the content you'll be publishing and that are meaningful for your business. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. In the blog article, uh, you have the link below. Um, you will see different types of backlinks and all the theory that you should know and that I'm not gonna talk about in this video. But one thing I am gonna talk about is the do follow versus no follow and the basic difference here. So do follow away passes the SEO juice uh, for your website. A no follow does not. No follow is just a mention uh, with no SEO juice whatsoever. But the important thing here is, although you would prefer, as any other SEO practitioner out there, you would prefer to get a do follow backlink, uh, in order for you to rank, you need to have both types of links. So whenever you get some no follow backlink, don't be too sad. Although it's not gonna help you uh, in SEO terms, uh, getting traffic and uh, pushing audience to your website that's meaningful for your business and for your conversion rate, is always a good thing. But these are the results uh, I've gotten so far. So 40 plus backlinks in the last three or four weeks is the score. I'm not like sure if it's 42 or 39 or 45, but it really doesn't matter. There's no really like the limit that you want to reach. As many as you could get, that's good. But I think that 40 plus in three weeks has been good for Limelist overall. 25% reply rate and 75% open rate are some of the results on our link building campaigns. If you consider both the emails and forms, because sometimes you can't send, some website will not give you their contact email or you can't reach the person uh, that's uh, related to that website. So you gotta do it through their contact form. It's difficult to measure, but uh, you can pull these, uh, these stats in your spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet, and basically tell, uh, tell that sheet to calculate this on, on, uh, on its own and basically like combine. Uh, both, but these are the results. So you've seen I've been actually uh, leveraging these and using these and it's not some sort of fluff. And uh, finally, let's kind of first divide this. This video will be divided in three sections. So one will be the process of finding backlinks, how you can find different backlinks. Uh, uh, are there any like uh, cheat sheets? Is there any tools uh, that are there any tools that can that are kind of good for this thing? And uh, I'm also going to share some stuff that uh, that concerns different communities, different groups and social media platforms and so forth and so on. So I'm just gonna show you right now. So one thing that I like to do is to leverage uh, search engine uh, uh, search engine operators in order for to find different opportunities. So whether I'm chasing a roundup or if I'm chasing a guest post, so I've shared, by the way, this file in the 
uh, article right here. You have the link in the description. But essentially, if I'm if I'm like a writer for an SEO, and I want to find some guest post opportunities, I want to publish a guest post on other people's websites and get a backlink uh, using this strategy. I'm just going to come to my search engine, uh, cheat sheet, and I'm going to filter out guest posts. And you can see there are certain operators that you can use to tell Google uh, to list out um, results that are meaningful for you for you to find uh, uh, various uh, guest post opportunities and uh, what does this mean is that google is a monster if you know how to use it google can give you a a many many good things but specifically if you want to for example use uh, let's say uh, write a guest post in the seo world i'm just going to come here and say seo and you see that uh, and also type space which is a good idea so you see that these queries will be automatically populated. And for example, you can uh, you can come here and basically copy paste anyone you want. I'm just gonna use this one. I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna tell Google to search it. And uh, you see, so, and it's also a good idea uh, for you to just go here and use the past year, let's say filter, because it will give you more uh, meaningful results. And so depends on uh, depending on what you search. So you can see that this will not be beneficial. I won't be able to extract as many opportunities from this particular search query because it gives me blog posts. But you see, like there's right for us guest blogging, uh, guest blogging uh, opportunity for me. Uh, I can scroll down through here and and uh, and see if I can find other opportunities. But if I'm not happy with it, I can I can like basically change it. And I can come here and say, search for SEO entitled right for us. And then I will get a couple of useful results. So you see like posting the guest posts on Mangles, which is an SEO tool. Using Google and using search operators in this way will, will help you narrow down the results and like go through this exhausting search process in a much more faster way. And another good thing is Ahrefs. And a lot of other tools like Moz, for example, have uh, these uh, uh, Chrome extensions, which help you get you some information about different websites in terms of like what's their domain authority, what's their URL authority. Um, those are some kind of metrics uh, meaningful for you that you can know how powerful is the website and um, whether or not you want to get the backing from. The higher the domain authority from a website is, uh, generally, the rule is the more authoritative websites, so the, with the ones with the higher domain authority linked to you, that's a, a much bigger signal for Google to telling like, oh, your website is dope because, I don't know, Ahrefs that has a strong, strong domain authority is linking to you. That means something. Another thing that you can use is, of course, Ahrefs. So, for example, if I come here and type, let's say, ahrefs.com, and I can come here and say, cool. So these are all the uh, all the stuff that I need to know about. So let me just move myself in the corner. These are the, the things I want to know about Ahrefs. But for example, I can come here and I can say, okay, cool. They have um, they have like a lot, a lot, a lot of backlinks. So I can come here and uh, click on this. Ahrefs will give me, and this is why I, I freaking love Ahrefs, one of the coolest features ever is a robust backlink um, kind of overview. So you can see all the links that are linking to Ahrefs. And I can play with, so I can say one link per domain. I can also say I want to see just the do follow links. And as you can see, Ahrefs will essentially give you a, a deep overview into different things like which websites you can rank, you can uh, filter them out by domain authority, you can filter them by traffic, uh, and you can see everything. Like, what's the website that's giving Ahrefs backlink? Uh, what's the anchor text? What's the link they've, 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 they've used? So you can see all the good stuff. So imagine if you're just starting out and you have a couple of competitors that have a lot of backlinks. But another cool way that you can leverage uh, Ahrefs is also to go and, for example, best buy links and see the content, uh, see the content uh, that's been getting Ahrefs a lot of traffic, a lot of good good backlinks, a lot of good stuff. So you can come here and see, uh, for example, I can search backlinks. 
And so I can see all Ahrefs content uh, about backlinks. And so you can see like get competitors backlinks, backlink growth study, how to get backlinks. So because I'm trying, uh, I published uh, an article that's ranking for this same keyword, how to get backlinks, uh, good luck me. So I can see all the do follow and no follow backlinks uh, or the referring domains that are getting, uh, that are passing the juice to uh, their article here and uh, maybe leverage leverage this information to get uh, my article some backlinks, and which I did, by the way. So another cool thing for you to use is communities. So I'm uh, sorry for promoting my community first, but essentially this is a place on LinkedIn. Since Facebook groups have been insanely popular, I decided to go with LinkedIn. So these are the places, this is the place where there's like 180 people who are mostly uh, from the startup world, publishing content a lot, trying to distribute it. And in this group, we kind of trade favors. So for example, you can see like in today's post, I posted uh, two hours ago, people come here and drop all kinds of comments. Like for example, anyone interested in a backlink exchange, it's a good way for you to find backlink opportunities. It's also a good way to uh, blast your content and get some, uh, get some engagement. Everything basically you need surrounding content and content distribution. Game of Content uh, LinkedIn group is a good way for you to connect with people and trade in favors. Another group that I really like is a B2B Bloggers Boost group, which is uh, which has like uh, almost 600 members, which is not a lot, but these are the people, most of them uh, anyways, are the people who are doing and struggling with the same challenges as you are. And it's a good, a good way for you to connect and uh, say that for example i'm doing a article on backlinks which i which i did by the way so let me just show you so if you search me uh you will see hey guys i'm doing what i hope to be a beast of an article so i'm just going to show you the entire post besides the process of finding opportunities and templates so this is this was before i was writing this article uh, on how to get backlinks and so you see that i connected with a lot of people how i uh, i connected with steven that's how i connected with amit and I've connected with all of these people. Ad, uh, Aditya is, is kind of uh, a really, really cool guy. You want to connect with him if you're doing uh, backlinks. So uh, groups and communities are an awesome way for you to connect. And don't just think Facebook and LinkedIn. There's a lot of, lot of good groups in Slack. Scalemat, which will publicly uh, announce their new, their new website soon, is a Slack community uh, in which uh, people from the SEO world gather and uh, talk about different stuff, brainstorm, but also trade favors like backlinks for the email outreach part i prefer to use uh i prefer to use uh, lamlist so a tool um, and these are all the seo campaigns uh excluding of course forms that have emails so these are some of the metrics and everything so for example let me just show you uh different email templates so all of the email templates are listed in this article so you will find everything you need here but i'm going to show you uh i'm going to show you them from a lamlist so for example, depending on your outreach campaign, so let's imagine uh, I wanna create a new one. So there are some inspirational templates, like for example, you see here, like SEO backlinks. So these are all the templates I've been using and they're publicly available. So all you need to do um, is to go and sign up for Lamlist. Of course, there's a free trial, no credit card needed, so you can test it out, um, like uh, fill these templates out and see if they're performing. But my suggestion would be not to blindly use the same copy that I've been using. Try to change something, try to adapt it more to your business and to your writing style and the way you communicate. You will find, uh, by doing that, you will find it much more, much more success, believe me, because you wanna be you. You wanna be as authentic as you possibly can. That's really important. And also, um, like, uh, keep in mind that there are some things that you need to uh, edit here, like your pitch, if you're doing guest posts, some of the things I've marked in red, but uh, grabbing unlinked mentions, uh, guest post pitches, link roundup, uh, um, like getting your tool reviewed on your on uh, somebody's YouTube channel, broken link, bin, link building, uh, a very popular uh, backlink strategy, uh, typical backlink exchange and template I've been using extensively in the past uh, in the past few weeks, and also a campaign that uh, I kind of created, which is list my tool. So I've just go through Google and see all the uh, websites and all the blogs that have published an article, which is top five 
uh, email outreach tools or top 15 tools that a small startup needs or I don't know, like uh, uh, 20 platforms for HR people trying to chasing talent. Like all those articles, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to connect with them and I'm going to try to put Lambda in there. And this is the template I've been using. So all you got to do is basically choose the template you want. So for example, imagine I want to use back on the exchange. I'm just going to come here. I'm going to use this template. Uh, there's also personalized images, uh, which is a, a great way for you to boost and uh, boost your outreach impact and get more replies. Um, and just, you wanna come here, edit any way you want it. You can also change the image. This image is dynamic. So whenever somebody uh, receives this image, it will be here's the plan book. If your name is uh, Suzanne, it will be here's the plan Suzanne. You can you can put anywhere, anything you want here, like whether that's a name or a screenshot of their website and just like, uh, like show you, you can use a lot of humor, you can use um, their company logo, their website logo, like the possibilities are really, really endless. So for example, check this out. So I'm a big fan of cartoons, at least I was. So <laughs> you can you can play a lot of cards. Um, that will come handy for you to uh, increase the impact of your emails and uh, at the end of the day, get more backlinks, which is kind of like the whole, the whole point. And these are some of the these are the templates that we've been using and uh, those templates so far. So let me just go back to where you want to leave. Yes. Uh, so these are some of the um, email results at least. Uh, one more time without the forms. Uh, the forms that we've been uh, emailing and we've been pretty happy with it. So I'm just gonna show you the impact so far. So. As I said, one of my main goals uh, in the third quarter is to boost SEO rankings and to get as much backlinks as we can possibly uh, get and uh, try to rank in this insanely competitive industry such as email outage. But you can see that we've, we've been able to experience some uh, uh, good stuff lately. So organic traffic is slowly on the rise, which makes me really happy. Uh, we've also uh, been increasing the number of backlinks and referring domains that are uh, uh, linking back to us and uh, ranking for more organic keywords. Uh, of course, this is a long uh, game to go. Lamlist is nowhere near uh, where we want uh, it to be on uh, Google, and that's the first three spots on the first pages. So there's a lot of uh, work ahead, but I just want to show you that even though uh, I'm not uh, an SEO expert, I'm an SEO practitioner, as I said, uh, anybody can do this. All you need is a process, and all you need is patience to test different things. And also uh, the main goal is to connect. So you coming to people and saying, hey, backlink to my shit will not work because um, nobody cares about you needing a backlink. Uh, what you need to do is figure out a way to get their attention. Now, whether that's by trading favors, whether that's doing something for them before you get the backlink, or if you create a uh, article and a piece of content that's really, really that good, all you need to do is uh, get it in front of people and people will give you natural backlinks. They'll be linking to your websites on their own. They'll be sharing that on social. Finally, uh, it's important for for you to kind of have the quick one-click insight into your backlink uh, backlinks score. So uh, we at Lamlist, we prefer to use Notion. So in Notion, we have all the backlinks and some uh, data that we want to have uh, for backlinks, such as the main authority of the website, uh, contact information uh, of the people who have been uh, keeping uh, close tabs with. So uh, it's important for you to have that kind of data uh, available to you fast so that you can um, show the changes that you made, uh, maybe connect with people again in the future. One backlink uh, in most cases is just the beginning. You can do a lot of stuff uh, down the road. So it's important to keep all that data uh, somewhere in one clean place. And also you'll see a lot of people, especially experienced link builders will ask you to create a spreadsheet, which is all the backlinks that you've exchanged with that particular website. So imagine your website and my website are exchanging backlinks. And so in one sheet, we can see like all the backlinks that my website has given to your website with the, all the, all, with all the anchor texts and the links that we've used. And don't be surprised. Those files are pretty simple to create. And usually the one who's asking you already has a template, so you don't have to worry about it. I hope this was useful to you. And um, I hope this content will give you some ideas on how you can 
uh, scale your link building efforts, get uh, more backlinks and uh, do more meaningful SEO work. See you down the road. Bye.